this video, we're going to create code in Excel VBA that allows us to loop through an email contact list and send emails that are customized to recipients that also include an attachment. So you can see here I have a data set of email contacts. I have invoice number, invoice amount, and the first name of those contacts. Over to the right here, I have a drop-down list with each of those invoice numbers. So if I change that, the data over here updates automatically. You can see I have a VLOOKUP that just pulls in the amount based on the invoice number. I have another VLOOKUP that pulls in the first name of that contact based on this number. I have a customized message that pulls from up here to get that person's first name that just says attached as your invoice. That is our email message. And then right here, I have the invoice that will, with our code, get saved as a PDF to our network drive. And then that PDF that gets saved will ultimately get attached to the email that goes out. So there's really not much to this invoice. I have a formula here that pulls in the today function. I have a formula here that is just simply linked to the drop down selection menu here. And then formula here that is linked to this corresponding amount. So ultimately what we're going to do is create a loop that loops through each one of these invoice numbers in our drop down list and all of these formulas are just linked to this cell here and it generates different email messages as well as different invoices that get saved and then attached to the emails. So before we look at the code here, I do want to run through this message here that's going to be our email message. So I'm going to delete this out and this is a merge cell. So I just clicked on this entire range, went to merge in center and aligned it left and made it middle alignment vertically. So it's going to be a combination of some text and cell reference. So I'm going to begin with text, the word hello, space. I need to come outside of that text, so I'm going to end it with a double quote using the AND symbol to join it to this first name here. I'm going to use another AND symbol to join it back to text, so reopen the double quotes, a comma, and then I want to come down a few lines, so I'm going to hit ALT ENTER twice and just say attached is your invoice for services rendered. It was a pleasure to serve you. I want to come down a few more lines. So I'm going to hit Alt Enter again. Alt enter one more time. Close that out with double quotes, hit enter, and there is our custom message. So if I change this, you can see that first name updates, and that is going to be our email message eventually. So now we are ready to look at the code for this. So you can get to the VBA editor window by hitting Alt F11 or going to the developer ribbon up top and clicking on this visual basic button. So anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click and go to insert and module. Now there's a decent amount of code here. So to save time, I'm going to paste it in here. And one thing that you absolutely must do for this to work is to go up to Tools and References and make certain that Microsoft Outlook 16 Object Library is checked. 
if it is not checked, it's not going to be at the top here. You're going to have to scroll down till you get to it alphabetically. But make certain that is checked. That just has some features in it that are enabled when it's checked that we're going to use in our code. So we're going to begin by declaring variables up top here. So we have a workbook variable. We have worksheet a range variable, a path variable. We have a second range variable called change cell. We have Outlook application. We have Outlook email item. So we begin by setting our workbook variable, which is equal to this workbook. We then set our worksheet variable, which is going to be equal to our workbook variable and the worksheets, the sheet we're on now which is sheet one. We're going to set our range variable, which is equal to our worksheet, and then the range F2 through L17. So this range here is going to be our invoice that we're going to save to PDF and ultimately attach to our email. We have a second range variable called change cell which is equal to our worksheet variable and then the range in two. So that is the cell that contains our drop-down list with our invoice that all of these other formulas are linked to. We have a path variable that is equal to this path here called invoices where we are going to save our invoices to that will end up being attached to our email. So then we have our for loop because what we want to do is loop through this list of email contacts beginning on row two and going till row seven. So while our loop is running, we have our counter variable that represents each row starts on row two. So on our change cell variable, which is a cell containing our drop-down list, we want to set the value to whatever row we're on in column two, which is column B, the invoice number, so that changes that drop-down list each time we go through each row of our loop. All of this code here is where we're going to save our range variable, which our range contains our invoice. We're going to export it as fixed format and the type is going to be PDF. We are going to set the file name to our path variable and then use the and symbol to join this to a backslash. And then what we're going to add to that is the cell variable, which is the drop down list containing our invoice numbers. We want to ignore print areas because we want this entire range to be saved as it appears as the PDF. So at this point, we need to set our Outlook app variable, which is a new instance of the Outlook application. That's just Outlook as a whole. And then once we have set that, we're going to set our Outlook email variable, which is equal to our Outlook application, create item, and then create Outlook mail item. So with our email variable, we want to do multiple things. So we have a with statement. So the first thing we want to do is set the to recipient to our worksheet variable and then cells for the row input that's going to be equal to our counter variable it begins on row two in column one because that contains our email contacts our subject is just going to be the text abc company invoice the body is going to be equal to our worksheet and then range in five, which is the top end of our merged range here. So that is cell in five, and that is just our email message. Our attachment 
to the email, we're going to reference keyword attachment and then add method. And then we need to provide a path. So we have the path variable, but our path variable is just the folder containing the PDFs. So we're going to use the and symbol to join this to a backslash and then reference our change cell, which is the drop down list cell that contains each invoice number. We want to get that value and then use the and symbol to join dot PDF extension onto that. So that retrieves whatever invoice we're currently on in our drop down list um, from that path. And then finally, at this point, we could send the email, but what I strongly recommend is just using display because it will just generate the email with the message, subject, recipient, and attachment without actually sending it. I think it's just safer that way to do that just so you can look at it and make sure it's correct and then at that point send it yourself. So we're done with everything with our email item. So at this point, we can end our with statement. We're still in our for loop. So it started out on row two, did all of these things. Then we say next counter. So that takes it back up top here, increments it to three, repeats everything, and goes all the way through row seven, which is our last row. So... At this point, I'm going to hit play here, and what we should see are all of these emails get generated and just displayed in our window with the attachments. What we should also see, too, is in our invoice folder, we should see all of those invoice files in here. So I'm going to go ahead, hit play here. And here's each of our seven invoices. So you can see this is our last recipient. There's our subject. The invoice is attached with the invoice number. We have the customized message here. Hello, Ray. Attached is your invoice for services rendered. You can see there is the invoice. That is the invoice number, the amount. If I go to the folder here, you can see here's all of our invoices that got saved. I can check another one of these emails. Here's another. Hello, Cindy. There is her invoice. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.